out of the pit. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. These are the words of Psalm 40, verse 2. Safety is not an ultimate value. It is a temporal value. Often it's the most prudent and responsible thing to make choices that are, are safe and promote the physical well-being and security of those whose care is in our care. And that would include our own bodies. It cannot, however, be the driving force of our lives, not safety. If safety is our ultimate concern, it raises a question. What am I keeping myself safe for? Safety is often misunderstood as the absence of danger or trouble or even risk. That's not the characteristic of the life of a disciple of Jesus. Rather, Christianity at its core promises ultimate safety and the safety of ultimate things. God has brought us by grace through dangers, toils, and snares, but not around them. These we have experienced fully and yet safely, unscathed by those forces and circumstances external to us, unscathed spiritually, that is, and with the confidence that grace will lead us home to eternal safety. Ezekiel 34, 27 says, And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall in yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord, when I have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. There's a time and there's a place for being safe without playing it safe throughout life. It's grace, God's grace that brings us to the safe place for God is the rock of our lives. The struggles are present to teach us the source of our strength. The hardships train us to know that our master is the Lord. We've come this far to realize that we must trust God for our deliverance. Psalm 4, 8 says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. And Proverbs 21, 31 says, The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. While we look for false and temporal assurances, we miss the full impact of what peace, sleep, and safety in God really are. When we trust in what we can control, we falter. As Newton said in the song, Amazing Grace, grace has brought us safe thus far, and grace will lead us home. Nothing else could. We neither earned grace nor deserved it. It was simply grace, unmerited favor toward unworthy human beings whom God happens to love passionately and unconditionally. What a blessing to be counted among such humanity. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen and amen, and amen again.